Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available. So if I misspell or mispronounce a word, make sure you have subtitles, subtitles on just in case. Also, be sure to follow me on my socials, which will be linked in, this, in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. I never thought it would come here, but here we are. I wanted to keep these thoughts to myself because I realized that an army of MJ fans will turn against their own member for saying the simplest of hot topics, but you know what? I'm not even going to worry about them or what they say as because as someone who is a huge Michael Jackson fan and has been scrutinized and attacked by my own community, I am utterly numbed to their criticisms and therefore I do not care if the fandom is with me or against me with what I say. If I feel something is wrong with the, with certain parts of the MJ community, or if I have a hot topic regarding Michael Jackson, I will say what's on my mind. With that being said, in January of this year, I uploaded a video sharing the news that Jafar Jackson, Jermaine Jackson's son, would play the role as his late uncle in the upcoming Michael Jackson biopic. Initially, I was praising the the estate's decision to hire someone in Michael's family to portray Michael and how this could be this, a step forward in how we view the estate. Um, initially, I was excited about this since this is the first time Michael's story is being told in a theatrical setting. But um, my opinion was slightly changed several months later when I stumbled upon this post on Instagram which is a deep fake of Jafar Jackson as Michael Jackson, and this is something straight out of an uncanny valley. I don't know if it's the nose or the eyes, but something about it seems off. So this edit is from Instagram user the MJ Content, and since March they have uploaded dozens of deep fakes of Jafar as Michael Jackson. While some of these edits look impressive, there are a few that looks odd and uncomfortably bad so in their bio they've said negative comments will get you blocked but since i'm discussing it in a youtube video i can criticize these edits however i want now i'll give them credit where credit is due some some of these edits mainly depicting jafar as michael during the 70s and early 80s look above decent however my criticism criticism lies in the fact that this is jermaine's son and that when I look at these edits, especially um, Jafar as Michael in the Jackson era, I I don't see Michael. I see Jermaine impersonating Michael. Now the thriller era edits, I can say that's when Jafar looks like Michael the most. Considering at the time of this recording, Jafar is at the same age as when Michael is at, at the peak of his career. The MJ content even made several deepfake videos of Jafar as Michael performing throughout the early 80s, including the Motown 25 performance and the Victory Tour. What Jafar Jackson like might look like in the upcoming biopic Especially. Michael. I like the new songs. But then I see the, the edits of Jafar as Michael during the Bad and Dangerous era, and they look rough. Me? You think this is funny? In a cosmic sort of way, yes. Well, Mr. Funny Man, is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby- Oh my goodness! Squidward! In the Bad era edits, they made him look Juvenile. This one in particular is the definition of uncanny. If you look at this picture from afar, it looks like Zendaya. And this one looks like a wax figure gone wrong. It even has the stereotypical MJ wax figure hairstyle too. Speaking of wax figures, I am currently working on a video where I rank every Michael Jackson wax figure I come across, so stay tuned when that video uploads. Um, when it comes to the few dangerous era, dangerous era deepfakes DNJ content has made, most of them are decent if not slightly better, and um, 
I honestly hope that they stop at this error because I can't help but feel that it will only get worse when they start to edit Jafar as Michael during the History Era, the Invisible Era, and the Mature Era. Um, and uh, we do not want a, another Flex Alexander inc incident in our hands, but let's be honest, nothing can be worse than Flex Alexander as Michael. You see what they're doing? Now they're even making fun of my kid's name. He's like a blanket, a blanket of love. That's why we call him that. Everybody knows that. Well, not everyone. Call Bashir. I'm doing a documentary. What the hell is even that? Get everybody out of my. However, I do hope that the makeup art, the makeup crew, or the crew in charge of the actor's appearance will use something to fix their looks, like makeup or CGI. In my opinion, I think Jafar would work better as a younger Michael than an older Michael, like from 1979 to 1987, maybe in their early early 90s. The only way I can see a older Michael being portrayed is if it was if he was portrayed by Navi, who portrayed Michael Jackson in Searching for Neverland. If they can get Navi to reprise his role. Um, I think he would be suitable for the late 90s and 2000s. Casting choices including how closely the actor resembles the person they are portraying can, can, can influence the audience perception and reception of the film. If the actor bears a solid resemblance to the real life figure they are portraying, it can enhance the authenticity and believe, the believability of the portrayal, creating a stronger connection for the audience. However, it's important to note that the actor's physical appearance is just one aspect of their performance. Acting skills, capturing the essence of the character, and delivering a compelling performance are equally important. Many successful films have managed to overcome casting choices that deviate from physical similarities by relying on the actor's talent and the overall quality of storytelling. There, there are a lot of things that has to be done to release the final result. You must understand that this film is about one of the greatest entertainers to ever walk the stage. The estate needs to make this film perfect or closely perfect um, to make up for all the wrong business decisions they made in the past 14 years. This is the biopic that the world has been waiting for and they simply cannot mess this up. Speaking of the estate, I can't help but think that production for the film will be halted due to the ongoing writer's guild strike, so, so we'll probably receive the movie sometime in 2026. Um, overall, I'm not attacking the MJ content. I understand what they were going for when ma making these deepfake edits. But they give, off, but there are some of them that give off a uncanny. That's the only way I can describe it, uncanny. But at the end of the day, they are only concepts, and the movie and I and the movie's makeup artists might do a better job. Ultimately, the success or failure of the film depends on the combination of various factors, including the acting, direction, screenplay, and overall execution. While the actor's appearance can contribute to the film's reception is not the sole determining factor, and a well-crafted movie can still resonate with audiences, audiences even if the actor's physical like likeness is not exact. But no matter if the final result looks good or bad, there is no doubt in my mind that this film will surely be memed on, concerning Michael Jackson is one of the biggest celebrities in meme culture. Well folks, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're new. Comment on whether or not you think Jafar is suitable for the role. Um, I understand that this will be his acting debut, so I'll take it with a grain of salt while expecting high ex expectations from the estate. Um, be sure to follow me on my socials, which will be linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.